So I've got a total mess going on. Got some trash going into the truck. I'm about to bag these clothes up. And I'm kind of arranging this stuff back here because those clothes, once I bag them, are going to go back here somewhere. Here's the TV. I don't, I can't see the brand on it, but it looks to be in actually pretty good shape. I don't know if it's busted or not, but I did just pull this out thinking it was the TV, but it looks to be an all-in-one Dell monitor. As you can see, I film everything with my phone or like an all-in-one Dell computer, but it looks to be in pretty good shape. So I'm just kind of organizing this stuff. I want to get these big pieces out so I can put all the drawers in them. I'm tired of moving those drawers and trying to organize some and then get pictures of the bigger stuff and then finish going through all this stuff up here that's under the clothes so that's where we're at and then this so i figured out all three of these this one that one and that one are all futons but this one the legs are the one legs off right there but i'm gonna see if i can um do something with that this little glider rocker it's not in the like the fabric's not in the best of shape but it's still pretty decent um, I'm pretty sure you can buy these pads for them. So I'm going to try to sell that guy. And then we've got the crib here. And there's like 40 pieces to like two different beds. I don't understand what's going on there. But I'm not really worried about it right now. So that's where we're at. Just made another discovery. <laughs> I was literally just moving these to put these mattresses on one side so I could get to them. And as I move the mattress, this guy's sitting back here as stuff falls. This is one of those curved TVs. So uh, let me move these mattresses and pull the TV out and we'll take a look at it. So this one looks to be in pretty good shape too. It's a Samsung. I don't see any cracks from here. So maybe this guy works. I don't know how big it is, but there's a TV, TV, computer, another tiny TV, but well, let's see. Is there anything back there? I'm going to let you guys see first. Is there anything? I don't think so. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I've only found one curved TV, and it was completely shattered. So, maybe this one works. Maybe I'll keep it. I could use a new TV. Update now. Got um, all the clothes away. I'm starting to work on this. All the clothes are back there with the box of DVDs and stuff. Did just pull... This little iPad, iPad mini, it's busted, but it might work out of this bag. So we'll set this guy over here into my pile of mess because I, for some reason, like to be making messes and then have to clean them up, so. But we've got that tote. I think there's two boxes there. That tote, this box, laundry basket, those two boxes, whatever's piled here and whatever's on that shelf left to go through. So hopefully there is something good hiding in one of those. So it's been raining like the past four days, like ridiculous amounts of rain. But I just loaded up all the mattresses. They're up there. It looks a lot shorter than it really is. But that's all done. And then hopefully the rain's gonna stop. So I'm gonna come back here and grab like all this flea market stuff and take it down to my storage unit, get it out of the way. But other than that, I'm about to head to the landfill. So here's an update on this unit. I've got to be out on Saturday. I think today is Wednesday. I've got basically everything, all the flea market stuff gone. Just got done cleaning up all this furniture, taking pictures of it. Got a little shelf, two little marble top end tables, this weird dresser thing. Three futons that this one has a broken leg on. This crib, a glider rocker back there that you can't see. Still have the curved TV, the 50 inch there. And then this chair. Those pieces are going to scrap, but that's really it. Um, I've got personals over here to get back and yeah books stuff a few things for eBay left here took all that home too but that's really it so this unit is coming close to being done so I picked up this unit for $120 just kind of glanced through a little bit I bought it because I like those two little containers there that was not where it was but that one has some silver in it, nothing crazy. That one has some paperwork. Um, I looked in there, there's an accordion in there, which is kind of cool. This container has a K 
Casio Z1 piano keyboard. I was just looking over here to go into the suitcase and move that and saw something back here, which is right there. I think it's a 20 gauge shotgun. Yep, Topper Junior. Oh, focus. Model 490 20 gauge 3 inch. Right there. Not a bad piece. A little old shotgun, kind of cool. I noticed some of the shotgun shells there. But that is neat to find. Just some clothing. Nothing too crazy. But it doesn't look like a bad unit for 20 bucks. Or I mean 120. So hopefully there's some other good stuff hiding in here. Alright guys, so here's a little look at these two little boxes. There's a passport wallet, some personal info there. And then this is basically just paperwork. There's some foreign money down here, and then there's some foreign coins at the bottom. Down in there. Nothing really crazy in that one. And this little jewelry box is really cool. I like it. But got a couple rings in there. That one's silver, I believe. That one's gold plated. Oh, get the drawers here. There's a two dollar bill and some just junk underneath it. Nothing really crazy. This is a plated ring. I looked. I basically looked through the thing. Didn't really find anything right home about just some other little neat uh selling stuff a few watches both uh there's a seiko two seikos and then a um just a no brand watch in here is these two little chains this one is silver and i believe this one is also silver i think I'm not 100 percent sure grab that i'll look at it real quick Yes, this one is silver. So that's that. And then in here are some cufflinks. Nothing gold or silver in there. In here is um the shell. A little pocket knife and some other cufflinks and earrings. I think one of the earrings might be gold. And then there's this little charm down there. I looked at that little charm and that one's gold as well. Here is just some extra watch bands and a couple little necklaces that I don't think are silver. I didn't really look at these ones. Now stainless steel and then a little ring that is stainless as well. So nothing really crazy, but maybe something else is hiding in the unit. I ended up moving some stuff around because I was bagging up clothes, which are right back there. Um, did find these this pair of Nike Air Force Ones that are in really good shape, actually. And then this pair of Nikes as well that are in pretty good shape as well. So that's not bad. Um, let me grab, I'll grab the accordion out real quick and show you that. And then here is the accordion. Toss it, got it open. And right there. I cannot read that. Me... But... I don't know exactly what the name is. I haven't looked it up yet. But it seems to be in pretty good shape from what I can see. Hopefully it's worth something. I guess we'll find out soon enough. So I just looked it up and it's selling... There's none that looked exactly like mine. But it seemed like most of them are selling anywhere from like 150 to like a couple sold for a thousand bucks. This looks really clean. I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to have to do some research on it and figure out exactly what model it is or whatnot and see what it's worth but it seems as if this could just be the money back like i said i paid 120 bucks for this oh i also found this i literally just turned around a um saunders cerebral home track thing i've had these before and sold them and i looked it up it's like about 100 150 bucks if ebay will let me sell it but nothing really wild there's some uh, tools down in there. Did find a couple books. This this book's really cool. It's not really a book. Get out here in the light, kind of. 
But um, it like slides out like that. It says sample on it. I'm not exactly sure what it is. And this book's from the 1780s. This book's really neat. Can't really see the name on there, but not in the best shape. A lot of old, some old books and stuff. But um, not a terrible unit so far. There is a table and chair set in the back, which I'm gonna try to sell. This futon I'm gonna take to the scrapyard because there's nothing else to it. Um, this little shelf, that little shelf right there. So, still gotta go through all these totes and everything and figure out what exactly is in here. There's a tent, some chairs. It's kind of just a mismatch of random stuff, but hopefully it'll turn out to be a good one. Stay tuned and you'll find out.